great mountains, mighty rivers, and a mega city. Saluted by the turbulent Yangtze River. The blessing of nature and the nourishment of a long history have neutraled in the west a shining pearl. This is Chongqing, a land of natural beauty, a city with cultural appeal. Chongqing Chongqing was called Ba in ancient times. It also named Ba Prefecture, Yuzhou, and Gongzhou at different historical periods. In 1189, during the Southern Song Dynasty, it was renamed Chongqing. In 1891, Chongqing opened its ports to the world. During World War II, Chongqing became the wartime capital of Kuomintang administration and the Far East commanding center of the world anti-fascist war. Liberated on November the 30th, 1949, a new Chongqing that is of the people embarked on its journey to development and prosperity. In 1997, Chongqing was approved to be a municipality which reports directly to the central government of China. With vast urban area, rural area, mountainous region, and reservoir region, Chongqing's 82,400 square kilometers of land neutraled over 30 million sons and daughters to forge ahead with determination and leisure. Its profound historical and cultural heritage dates back to the Tang and Song dynasties. Revisiting historical times, we find the rules of General Barmanzi, the Diaoyu Fortress, an outward-looking Chongqing, is embarrassing the world from Western China as a pioneer and a forerunner of opening up, establishing key channels, platforms, and environment. Integrating railways, waterways, roads, and air transport, Chongqing now connects to the east, west, south, and north. The China-Europe Railway Express, also known as Yuxiao, crosses through the Eurasia continent, and the new International Land Sea Trade Corridor seamlessly connects the belt and the road. Liangjiang New Area, Chongqing High Tech Industrial Development Zone, Chongqing Economic and Technological Development Zone, Pilot Free Trade Zone, and the China Singapore Demonstration Initiative on Strategic Connectivity are soaring to greater heights. The flows of personal, cargo, capital, and information are accelerating. By making those who are near happy and attracting those who are distant, Chongqing is building itself into a pioneer of opening up in the landlocked area and becoming an international metropolis. Surrounded by tree-covered mountains, immersed in the moonlight reflections of the rivers, Chongqing is a mountain city and a river city. Chongqing attaches great importance to tree planting and land reserving. We will step up conservation of the Yangtze River, stop its overdevelopment and improve the eco-security shields in the upper reaches of the Yangtze, making Chongqing a land of natural wonder, a city of cultural appeals. Lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets. Chongqing is prioritizing ecology and green development, promoting industrial ecology and ecological industrialization. This is Chongqing's city pastoral, harvesting hopes from the land. A charming landscape with lush mountains and lucid rivers is our city's most attractive named card. 
pulling together wisdom and strength, we speed up developing the digital industry and make headways in smart industries, intelligent manufacturing, and smart city. A complete industrial chain is taking shape featuring integrated circuits, LCD panels, intelligent terminals, core components, and IoT. A full-factor architecture is forming incorporating cloud platforms, 5G connectivity, big data, advanced computing, and smart governance applications. Our upgrading and transformation in both traditional pillar industries and strategic emerging industries revitalizes Chongqing, a conventional industrial hub. Smart technology empowering economy in rich life envisaged to be a powerhouse of smart manufacturing and a renowned smart city. Chongqing is embarrassing broader prospects towards high-quality development. This is Chongqing, a land of natural beauty, a city with cultural appeal, a tour in Chongqing, a game in vision.